So today we're going to have a little bit of a, a fun video where uh, the first part of the video we're going to be talking about getting started in life. And what I mean by that is I didn't really get serious about life until I was probably about 25. I'm, I'm 29 now. Uh, my career is on the right path. I've, I'm making all right money and uh, things are looking positive for the future. And I reflect back and I think to myself... Man, I wish that what I was doing when I was 18, that I was on the right path, right? And that, that's part of why I like doing these videos as well, is to, to talk about what I've learned along, you know, the journey of life, right? And it's always easy easy to say, I wish I knew this, uh, and I wish I did that. You know, I wish I started investing when I was 18, I'd have so much saved. I wish I saved money and didn't spend it at the strip club, or whatever you guys do with your money, right? And um, it's easy to say that. And you really just have to take it with a grain of salt because what the person you are today is only because you were that person before then. So it's like, yeah, I may feel that up until 25, I wasn't necessarily making the best choices or I wasn't, um, you know, I was more interested in maybe dating than I was in, you know, having a career or taking school seriously or being productive, investing money, whatever it may be, those things that are important to me now weren't always important to me. I wasn't always a developer and I wasn't always coding every weekend and working on my technical skills and things like that. And, you know, I wish, oh man, I wish I was YouTube. So that's the, the very, the intro to a very fun segment that I called, and some of you, I guess I have to even preface this, this is how old I am. At 29 years old, I'm getting to that age where if you're like one of the younger viewers and you're like 13, 14, 15, you may not even know what MySpace is. And that's okay. But before, for, for, the, for the young ones in here, welcome. Um, and secondly, what MySpace is, is it is essentially a, a bootleg Facebook. Uh, where for us older gentlemen, there will be a man named Tom that we are very familiar with. Tom created... <laughs> Tom created Facebook and sold it for $750 million or something like that. And then Facebook came along and uh, I think I think some global media agency bought it like Fox or CNN or some bullshit, right? And uh, Facebook came around and basically put MySpace out of business. So I am going to share with you the pictures that are still on my Facebook to this day. I have yet... I've never actually gone and deleted the Facebook or the uh, the um, MySpace account, and I I just I came across it searching for something in my email, and I happened to have a link to my MySpace, so I logged in, and we are going to together see these pictures and see what they're all about. I'm going to narrate uh, to the best of my ability the history that goes along with each one of these wonderful pictures. All right, so let's go. Can we go full screen real quick? Let's go full screen. All right, we'll start in the beginning. So this is us shooting dice for like three dollars in front of a or in the back of a 7-Eleven on the way back from a dirt biking contest. It's fun stuff, man. Just for fun. Uh, another picture from when your boy used to actually do physical activity, dirt biking. I believe I'm about 18 or 19 in these photos. We're at a little bit of a house party here. I'm in a chicken suit. Uh, I believe I was sick from that same occasion. Um, same occasion. This is my brother. And uh, I'm on the left. My brother's on the right. Then my dad's to the left of my brother. And then my grandfather, who has uh, since passed. These photos are probably about 10 years old. So I'm, I'm, t I'm somewhere around there. Um, more of the chicken suit. This is graduation day. Uh... I think that might have been the first time I ever wore a tie. I, I, I really do. Let's zoom in a little bit. Uh, so that, God, that was so long ago. Um, let's see. Some sort of uh, party picture. I'm in the top right corner looking handsome as can be. Uh, looks like I'm at a hookah bar here. Damn, that doesn't even look like me. I don't know. Um, I like, I'm, I'm digging the sideburns though. I got, maybe I got to bring those back. Um, this is some sort of picture. I'm not sure who took this. That is the real mystery, is who took this photo? Because that's me, and that's my dad, waking up in the morning looking like death. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, a very classy photo of 
Uh, me playing poker with some sort of nude deck. This is Alicia Keys at the writer. Uh, so the, my father's a writer. He uh, writes television scripts, or he was. He's retired since then. But uh, they were on strike for a while, and I believe this is that. Um, oh, this is this was this is a fun one. Um, my good friend Ryan's mother worked at a real estate company that had season passes to to Laker games, and so they had four for every single game. And if the tickets went unclaimed, no one claimed these tickets. We would four hours before them get them for free and go to the Lakers game. So they'd be $140 tickets a piece. And this was, I believe, like the third row uh, there. So we were, we were pretty pretty good. Um, damn. I'm, di I'm digging that haircut. I think I, I look better with a little bit more hair. Not as much as my brother, but same rider skill effect. This is, this is a throwback right here. Um, it's your boy looking like, <laughs> like a star, like one of the starving Marvin Caucasian version over here. Uh, and the backwards hat. I, I think that might've been the last time I ever wore a hat. It looks like I'm at a casino here. So I must be 21. Uh, this is, oh, this is going back now. So that you see Milo here on some sort of chair I had. That's young Milo. That's the young one. That is, he's not the old cat he is. Uh, this is at a casino. Milo again. I believe I, I believe I was interviewing at some sort of Indian casino back when I was, uh, uh, apparently on my way to the cousin's wedding. All right, so this is a funny story. I, um, I lost my, so I, I brought 50 bucks to gamble on the way, and I lost it, and then I had to ask my mom for gas money. <laughs> it didn't go over as well as you might have think as to why I didn't have gas money. Um, I am, uh, if anybody ever watched the show, um, this is, I, um, God, with Rob... The DC guy. Anyhow, I'm a character called Bobby Light here with uh, Rico dressed up as an old basketball player, it looks like. This is from some sort of porn convention, that uh, adult convention that I went to with my friend when I was like 20. More photos. I think there's one or two more pictures of that that we're going to have to skip over. Uh, this is for a black and white Christmas party. That's a good party. I like that party. Uh, Ron Jeremy from the, uh, the, the adult convention as well. Uh, and this is my first motorcycle. There was a radio host called Tom Likas who was very misogynistic that I, I listened to at the time and got a lot of my a lot of my lifestyle choices at that time from I suppose. Uh, and he had this thing called Flash Friday. Anyhow, so this is my first motorcycle. This was the jankiest piece of shit that you ever that anyone ever had. It was a 250 cc. I gotta save this thing. I, I, I'm never gonna come back on MySpace, so I gotta save some of these photos to just remember the Lycus 101 bike. I paid 800 bucks for this thing? Oh man, it was a blast. That was my first motorcycle. Uh, more photos, some sort of Christmas tree. Let's see here. I think we, I think we might have seen it. Anyhow, that's a little trip down memory lane. Uh, what, so why do I show that? Well, one, because it's fun. Uh, <laughs> I enjoyed it. Two, I, I want you guys to understand that you saw that that's probably about four years of my life right there, I would say, from probably about 18 to 22 or a little bit after that, that no matter where you are in life, guys, is it's never too late to start. And you may not be where you want to be, but you have to be glad where you are, right? Like, I, I, I wanted to be farther along in my career in my life at this age and that I am now. Um... And I, I really, it took these last two years, three years of me kind of buckling down to get there. And it, I, yeah, I could, I could worry, I could think, like, be down about, you know, I could accomplish the things I wanted by now if I started earlier. Or if I knew what I knew now. If I started a YouTube channel in fucking 2010. Like, <laughs> you know, all these sort of things. But you can't think like that. Uh, but I, I hope you enjoyed it. I had fun showing it to you. It. A uh, little trip down memory lane. I can't even believe it's still up, to be honest with you. Um, who the fuck uses MySpace? <laughs> that's just that's just one of those things where, look, man, I know someone's trying to do something with it, but you just got to shut it down, bro. You got to throw in the towel. MySpace is done, man. Uh, that that That's the truth of the matter. Um, so just shut it down and save all of us 
And uh, I hope you guys, if you if you're if you're old enough like myself to have a MySpace, I hope you go and check it out to see your growth over the years. Cause I know I'm not the only one with some fucked up pictures <laughs> and past, right? So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to join our Facebook group, Code Tech, Code Tech and Caffeine. The link is in the description. And um, if you want to support me at Patreon, you can at Patreon.com/slash. Coding Tutorials 360. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you're interested in coding bootcamp, check out devmountain.com where housing is included in your price of tuition. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share and support me on Patreon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.